right, so welcome to In The Zone podcast, special Zwift Racing League edition. And I've got with me two uh, co-hosts. I've got Jamie. Hello. Captain of the Team B. And I've got Nick, captain of Team C. Hello. So welcome, guys. And we're here in the Jira Sports studio, um, which is normally more of a, my pain cave, as you can see probably behind. Um, normally, I've got the bike stud actually on the other side. Um, but today, podcast uh, studio. Um, so we're here to really talk about um, the the Zwift Racing League, the the, the previous season, and um, it's just going to be a bit of fun, a bit of banter, uh, just reviewing the different stages, the performances, individual team, um, and yeah, just getting a little bit of insight and just a bit of fun. Um, we'll have some um, short clips of some of the races. Who, who did um, um, the season with us. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Let's go. Team, uh, how do we do this? Um, stage review. Well, let's start with you, Nick, because you're stage one. You're actually the only one to have raced it. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly. I think we had, uh, I mean, in all we had, we did have five people, five, no, we had six people raced in, in the first race. But yeah, there was a technical problem that blocked out everybody from the race. Yeah, and um, and someone on our team, I think it was Olivier, um, f found a solution about thirty seconds before the race started. And anyway, the seas went. Um, so it was it was mayhem. Uh, no one was warmed up properly, and there was half the racers. We normally have seventy racers, seventy five racers, and I think we were thirty two or thirty five in the race that day. Um, so no one was prepared. Um, and, and it, uh, it was it's really i mean it's the neokyo all nighter i i love to use this this course as a as a training course because it's a lot of sprints and then a little climb to finish with i thought this was go it had the recipe for a classic zwift race basically yeah yeah no i went out fast and the sprints are really close together at the yeah. beginning so you do rest. one and then you know you kind of on the second one and by the third one at least that's where I got dropped. <laughs> there, was, there was no reprieve in between the first two. Yeah. Um, and um, we didn't have Henrik in that race that day, but um, Julien Olivier did perform pretty well. Um, and uh, Casper was there too. Um, I think we finished. Actually, I don't, I don't, I don't have the results. No, I don't. Because they, they, they weren't out. published. Yeah. They yeah. weren't published. But um, I remember finishing 18th out of 32, whatever that means. Doesn't, I, think know, it was it Ju doesn't... I think Julian was something like either like top, top five or something yeah, like yeah, that exactly and yeah. he was just telling me why why doesn't it count I was like, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. well i mean half the race is you know half the guys yeah. can't do it so yeah. uh yeah and for us i mean a and b basically that was that was it we you know we would <laughs> you kind of you prep yourself you have your nutrition um you know you fuel yeah. up and everything and then no racing it, it was an eye-opener to me to to how motivational the, the racing is though really because it was fascinating that we're all, we're all there, we're all on Discord, we're all chatting with each other, we're, we're all still on Zwift, Zwift still exists, it's just the racing didn't happen. And we decided, I thought it was a great idea, we all did a team time trial practice, so we all still get together, we're all still cycling together, yeah. but for me, I had some work or something to do, and, and as soon as the racing's not happening, I'm thinking, oh, well, actually, I'll go and get that work done, I'll go and get something else done, which is shows you how... how good a thing it is that once the Zwift racing's there, it's the number one thing. That's that's what you're doing, you know. So yeah. it, it can it can get rid of excuses for you. So yes, yeah, absolutely. It, it it was an eye opener for me. It was it was disappointing for it to not work, but then it, it's it's nice. It's nice that it showed you how how much it matters. Well she's a good point you mentioned and I wanted to start before we go on to the further stages, but why is it that we do the Zwift Racing League? I mean, Nick, do you have a why do you love it? Why why do you like it so much? I mean it's now your fourth season fourth season yeah i've missed yeah, i've only missed one race and jamie you, you've, the you've been there since the season one really since the start i think yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. why is it yeah. that we keep on coming back because it's really painful i mean i have a number of reasons i would say one of the one of the ones that's most important to me is is it just you go there's there's few occasions now where you just go all out yeah you know, and this is one of them. I mean, for an hour or 45 minutes or whatever it is, I mean, you're full all out physically, mentally. There's nothing else going on in, in, in your brain um, because you're, you're completely focused. And no matter what you're doing in terms of uh, sports or running or training, it's not very often that you 
you push yourself to those limits. And I, and I like seeing um, in the races uh, how far you can you can push those limits. And then you, you, you meet the limits and then you even push yourself beyond them. And that's yeah. it doesn't happen anywhere else. At least not for me. You wouldn't so. do it on a training session to go that hard. Yeah, I mean, training sessions are hard. Yeah. For sure. You can't have hard training sessions. But when you're in third place and you see the guy in second place ahead of you and you're like, yeah. oh, do I have another gear? And you're kind of like, no, sure, why not? I'll give it a, sh you know, and, and then you, and you surprise yourself. Yeah. And that, that surprising yourself is what is why I come back. It's, it's also like a, sometimes like an aha moment. I, I can do it. Yeah. You know, and you, you kind of raise your bar. Yeah. another level um i remember the first time that i switched from being in defensive mode like oh i'm just hanging on i'm just hanging on stay with this group stay with this group and the first time i thought wait a minute why don't i attack yeah you know i, I can this group you know they're probably yeah. suffering more than me and i, and I went away and, it, and, it, and i and i broke away from the group and i was and it was just like a huge aha moment like yeah. wow okay that's that's different mentality yeah you you just said jamie a bit your why but maybe you want to just on on b before that, I think it, it shows us how lucky we are really to have something like this, and we can stop the clock on me mentioning my my cycling hero Graham Aubrey, uh, and when he when he was training for the hour, so he's a Scottish guy. It's a wonderful movie about him, but when he was training for the hour record, which he which he got, he just had like a terrible old turbo, tra not even a turbo trainer, just one of those old cycling machines that you see people throwing out in their garden. You know, he, he had a terrible one of them and he could put a clock in front of him and smash himself for an hour, which is incredible yeah. that anybody can do that. And I certainly couldn't do that. And even with the Zwift, we don't really manage that, but the, the Zwift racing can, can step it up. So yeah. we're, we're lucky to have such a, uh, to have such a resource really. Um, for me, I, I love the, the social aspect of it as well. I think it's real nice to, and, and with Thierry's uh, amazing leadership, it's growing and growing the, the, the number of people we have racing and it's great to all get on and have a bit of a chat and a, and I complain about how awful it was at the end of it. And yeah. it's, uh, you have yeah. to share that pain with somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Because <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. nobody yeah. else understands yeah. it. No, exactly. <laughs> so it's, it, yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice to, to be able to do that. And really, nothing gets you gets you off the sofa like like yeah. when you've got you've got a team there that's waiting for you the race happens at this time you're going to do it you, you can't you, there's no way to make any excuses so it's, it's it's great for that exactly i i think for for me the 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 social aspect the community aspect that was really the the aim at the beginning to create first i mean when i that was a few i mean that was a year ago i think exactly a, a year and a half ago actually it started and um, I mean, we had only one team and we were all in A because I, I race A. So everybody had to be in A despite we had C's and B's <laughs> and it was a very, very lonely yeah. ride for some. And yet people stuck through it because it was just that, you know, we were together. You, you feel that you're you're doing a workout together. Um, and yeah, it kind of kept on growing and more people joining. And now we have, I think we have people in the UK, in the US, we have in New Zealand, in uh, Holland, and we had in Spain, in Germany, obviously in Switzerland, in France. I mean, it's it's Brilliant. it's crazy, yeah, yeah. It's you know. That great. you 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 know, at some point in the A team, we had you know from a US, for US, Europe, and New Zealand racing wow, at the same yeah, yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's that's that, yeah. there's nowhere else you can do this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I feel that. As well, I know it's mostly like local riders around the Neon area or Neon Geneva area, but um, you create that community and you, and you feel that if you, we can all go for a group ride now and, you know, yeah, not yeah. going to stop chatting at all because yeah. it's just we have yeah. so much <clears throat> shared yeah. experience. Um, and so, yeah, for me, it was really about creating this, this community and that's what, and, and I think it. Well, and the community is there, but it does spill over into real life. And I think that's important, too, is that, yeah. is that we take our bikes outside and we ride together um, and uh, or even just doing the Zwift when we did it at uh, at the shop. Yeah, that was brilliant. You know, that was we a really were, great thing. Yeah. We yeah, yeah. A whole team all staring at our computers, but at least riding beside each other, which yeah. is kind of a strange, uh, strange thing to do. But it was. It was yeah, but it's, it's that sort of um, like we said. And I think because you have this community, because you race with a team, you will give everything you know if it was just myself participating in participating in a race you know at some point maybe you think oh just whatever it's yeah, that's yeah. it you know yeah. you're not going to compete for i don't know 51st or 50th but you, you don't know you got more points for the team that might make your ranking better so you will give absolutely everything because you know you've got teammates so 
I think the the and that, that's what I really love about Zwift is that unlike other platforms, I think Zwift Zwift is really really community minded, and that that's why I keep on keep on going. You know, there's if you remember last season we had um, some guys doing the YouTube videos of your races mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. and it's just fun that you can kind of uh, you have people streaming and then I was following a guy on YouTube who was streaming our races I started to chat with him it's it's crazy you, you just meet people like this and yeah. I don't think there's any other sport or platform that provides this no and it's it's really great that it's you really are racing each other you know and it's not like it's who can get the fastest time you there, there really is the element of tucking in behind people and and the tactics that come into play and do you know when when I first saw the these like the the feather and the helmet and all that I thought oh, that's a bit Gimmicky, like yeah. it's a bit but really it works yeah it, it's it really yeah. does add yeah. something to it <laughs> yeah, yeah definitely. Um, the tactics but, are super important yeah I mean oh, you the, know I I, I find yeah. that I feel like there's certain races where I race better than my ability because of tactics, and then I mean you could be the opposite. Obviously, if you go, if you, you sort of sprint the wrong time or you, you whatever yeah. you do, you know, and it, it doesn't work out, it could be the opposite. But um, for sure, it matters. No, there's a, I mean, there's a lot of guys who are very strong riders, and I think, for example, that's been a good example for Team B, where you guy, if you look at the previous seasons, for me, you all very very solid riders yeah. and we didn't have the results that we had this year and i really think that it's kind of this learning to really race on zwift yes yeah, it's, it's completely it's, different it's, it's a different using thing. the power-ups yeah. knowing to draft and everything it's a it's a skill you know and um uh you, you can have you know you have pro riders who just can't race on zwift because it's just it, it's, it's a different it's mm -hmm. a different yeah, sport yeah, it's a different skill yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah and but yeah but and also the the for me the one once you have that community and people are ready to push themselves very hard, you, you do see improvements then on the road. You, you will see fitness improvements. And I think um, sharing that these moments, sharing that progress, you know, you're putting yourself out there. You might be, you might join the race and be last, you know, but you know, that's part of sport. It's part of um, building, uh, you know, resilience and keep on going. And I think that, um, we, there's a lot of guys who've been now there for a while uh, more people joining but it's um yeah it seems that they all, we all love it somehow yeah it's been, and it's I, I don't mind the 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 high level at all the difficult difficulty difficultness of it, it, it i think is is great you know that you, you go into this race and you're like wow i put out quite a lot of watts there and i got smashed into yeah. last place that's great it's brilliant the, that, that for me so the worst moment riders. is the sort of the warm-up moment when you go what am I doing again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially when you have like a sprint stage or something, you're like, you just know you're going to be dropped after five minutes by the peloton and you just do you, go, Do you think ah. actually, it seems that's to me, debate, though, it's... We, since the first season, uh, maybe maybe it's just me that's noticing this or feeling this, but it used to be that first five minutes were mega, mega, and it was pretty much always five minutes were just insane for the, the to, to stay with the yeah. group that seems to have died down a little bit to me do you, do you find that or not in a no i, I don't feel it is i mean it's for me it's not five minutes but the first couple minutes it's a couple of minutes and now, it depends and on the race as well how long that you know because if there's in this season there was a few you know where the sprint was within the first couple of kilometers or yeah to try yeah. to break it up yeah yeah when that yeah. happens yeah, of yeah. course when and that uh, happens, and it goes it out sense. fast and furious and, yeah. and sometimes at least in C sometimes our races are shorter than your guys so yeah. <clears throat> so it's um uh, even though we might only do four laps compared to the six or something yeah it tends to be you know I feel like it's just for that reason it's faster because you're only riding for maybe 30 yeah 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 so you're, you're not on for as long I don't know, I got the impression that maybe that that time gaps coming down a bit maybe maybe it's because it just stays hard for longer and it doesn't do the getting easier bit <laughs> uh, <laughs> just well, getting fitter that's yeah exactly i don't think yeah. that's, that's definitely not <laughs> it the case get easier, <laughs> you just get faster that's what it is um stage two london classic i mean this is not my type of uh, racing because it's just flat and uh that's just sprinting basically um thoughts as with as with so many Zwift races, in fairness, like like you mentioned, it doesn't suit me. It doesn't suit my type of racing, <laughs> which, which doesn't put me off. But yeah, it's it's really difficult. These and especially the sprinter stages is is yeah. just going to be tough.
Hey, Thierry. So, thanks for putting me onto your podcast. Um, I'm one of the guys from the UK riding in uh, the Jura Sports team, BCAT, and um, I love it. Why do I? Why did I join? Because well, I met Thierry online on Strava about four years ago. He put me into a a good route. I was in Switzerland uh, training, and I and he kept, we kept in touch. Got into the BCAT. Absolutely love it. Why do I love it? I love it because I'm very competitive. Uh, I like pushing myself, and I love the camaraderie. Getting online at the end on Discord, doing a video call with all the boys. We got you know people in America. We got the Swiss gang. Um, I also find quietly, I shouldn't admit this, that I want to beat Jamie Robertson. And so I never do. He always thrashes me. One highlight was that I thought I had beaten him when I then realized my low light was in the same uh, same race where he then was given the sprint stage, or not the sprint stage, the K- KOM stage. And I'd missed that bit of information. So I was just simply thinking I'm beating him till it came to that climb where he just was 30 seconds behind me at the start and then he smashed me. <clears throat> so the highlight and low light might have been in the same race. Probably my other highlight was the London stage about three, I think it was on January the 18th, um, around then. And I like flat stages with just a little punchy climb because I can keep up, I can hang on. I'm quite good on endurance. I don't think I'm ever going to stage win. Um, but I, I like a flat race because I'm a bit fat and uh, or a bit heavier than most. So going up those hills, I have to put a lot more effort in than most. Looking at my notes here, that's it. I think I'm just so delighted to be part of it and want to thank the team and thank you, Thierry, for having me in it. I had actually, it was um, on in London, I remember, it was, I think, I was in the peloton for a while and I think I could have probably stuck to that peloton until the end, but I, I just knew that I would basically finish whatever, 40th or something, you know, just at the back of the peloton because the, the sprinting ability of some of those guys is just crazy. You know, they put you know, 1200 watts or whatever, you know, 50, it's, it's ridiculous. So I thought, okay, I've got to try something. And I think I had a ghost or whatever it was. And I just absolutely went for it. And I think I got second or third or at the first across the line. I think it was on lap four or out of six or something like that. And then obviously just like, you know, I did a one minute effort, kind of try to yeah, break yeah, away. Yeah. You know, you go, you pass through the, um, through the arches and then you got that, that sprint on the mile. And, yeah, I literally died and that, that peloton just went flying past me at the after the sprint. So I got my points and I was like, right, my job is done. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's you know, uh, that was suicide move and, and that was it. So I was actually yeah. quite pleased. And it shows that, again, in a race where potentially you, you don't have any anything to play for. I mean, you, you think you don't. Like I said, I'm not a sprinter. There's still a way to find, to find points. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I think yeah, the yeah. tactics, again... We, we've been a bit more tactical this season rather than kind of suffering the race. We've said, okay, let's just yep. take that race, let's rough the neck and just kind of, okay, this we can do, that we can do, and let's try it. And if it doesn't yeah. work, well, at least, you you know, no regrets. Yeah, and at least in C, we, we, we have the benefit that in our team, we have different skill sets across the team. So we have some pure sprinters, um, you know, and, and then we've got guys that can, can climb and, and sort of more punchy riders. And so... We can sort of, in a sense, take turns or help each other achieve those those little milestones. Um, not everyone's out to do everything. Yeah. But you did. You you didn't do. I didn't. London, uh, yeah, London, I, you went there, that was the I one think. race I didn't That's do. The one thing you didn't. Um, so I can. We we finished fourth in that race. Yeah. Um, again, it's a, fl- a flat race, sprinter race. It's probably not. Wasn't for me anyway. I think Hen- Henrik did quite well. Henrik. I think, um, race, huh? Henrik Suar. Soon. Yeah, he got huge sprint points. Julian actually managed to get um, uh, some sprint points as well. But uh, we did have uh, yeah six riders. But um, no, I missed that one. Yeah. No, I think I think I remember now as well. I look at uh, Bruno had some points for us in a, but it's. Um, yeah, I mean, not really one to remember, to be honest, that London Classic. So we can probably swiftly move <laughs> along to New York. And um, stage three, New York, Park Perimeter. I've had, that was, you know, we talked about aha moments. That's when I had my breakthrough race a year ago 
where I, I was basically a year ago, I was just 50th, 50th, you know, kind of even couldn't even get in the top 50 in these races. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, boom, New York, seventh, I think I finished. And I, I, I never liked New York. I don't like New York as a world to, to go and train or ride, for a, but to race, I just find it's the best. Because yeah, it's cool up, world, down, yeah. up, down, up, down. Steep, no, steep, steep climbs. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. steep climbs, but the, it's relentless. It's just kind of, you're never bored. It's not just like yeah. an all that power. It's kind of rest and up and rest. It's, yeah, no, it's dynamic. It's really, mm -hmm. I really love it. So I was looking forward to that one. Um, to be honest, I don't really remember how I did on that one. But uh, was that, uh, no, it was, a, it was that, a, yeah, it was a points race, wasn't it? Yep. So yeah, it was the points course. race, and it um, there was that one big climb at the end. Yeah, big climb, sort of climb. That, at least in in the C division, that's where it sort of separated. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Split and and me and Henrik and Julian were were together, and and we sort of got dropped from the first group, and Henrik was going across to the first group, and Jules and I or Olivier, I can't remember, we were, we were there, and we were trying to stay on Henrik's wheel so he could pull us across to the to the lead group. And Henrik's the only one that made it across. Okay. So he went around in the first group um, and managed, but he, I think he only managed some sprint points. And then, um, yeah, and I was, we were in it. There was a massive second group. Um, and I actually had, at the finish line, I had um, an arrow and I launched, there's, there was a slight downhill right before the finish line yeah. and then went uphill. Yeah. And I launched the arrow on the downhill Get and speed to get speed and I actually out sprinted the like it was a group of 20 or 30 riders and I out sprinted all but two or three of them nice yeah, so, so it was nice a good finish for me because I'm yeah. not a sprinter so yeah. I was, I, was yeah. I kind of played that one well you quite you quite like Jamie that New York kind of that up and down races no I, I like I like the, the and to be honest I'm maybe the opposite of you I, I quite like to train in places like that you know I quite <laughs> but but racing <laughs> Racing would be fine if I didn't get dropped on the hills. I think that's, that's the problem is, and and I find that with the B actually. When when I when I first did the B, when B first came along for us, I was like, this is great. I'm, I was up in the up in the top, uh, the top tens sort of thing. Yeah. It was it was it was nice, but as the levels gone up, the I can hold I can hold the the sort of the the watts that I need to stay with our group. But then when they just turn that dial a bit on the hill, so they'll get to a hill and right up we go, and I just find myself dropping away. So hills are hills have been tough this season. I think with my with with what I'm good at and the, my lack of training right now, I think it's been uh, it's been a bit of a cocktail. But um, no, I like to I like to ride on yeah. the hills. I like oh, New York's a good one. Hi, I'm uh, Alistair Chalmers. I'm a member of Thierry's uh, B team for Jura Sports and the Zwift Racing League. Uh, Thierry asked me to say a few words just on on the last season and why I'm uh, why I'm doing Zwift Racing League. Uh, firstly, I'd just like to thank Thierry so much for uh, allowing me and everyone else to be part of the team. He, he puts in such a lot of effort, and it's uh, you know everyone without fail says they enjoy it and really appreciates what he does uh why do i do the zwift racing league uh it's not for enjoyment that's for sure it's a lung busting painful effort uh but i do it because i think there's very few things that can make me that motivated to work that hard try that hard i get a huge amount of satisfaction after finishing whether it's 50th or fifth uh i mean it's a great workout i usually count function very well or at least you know physically can't function the next day but it's uh yeah there is no way i could put out that effort if i was trying to motivate myself and i think the motivation i get from it uh is and uh, cannot be replicated with anything else i do at least not for anything that a 44 year old middle-aged man can can do it, it gives me some of the the same kicks i got from competitive you know sports when i was younger football whatever uh it's it gives that level of satisfaction and uh and it's really uh you know it's really something i i wouldn't say i look forward to because i even approach it with some level of trepidation and apprehension uh but i get a lot of satisfaction out of it 
Uh, what have I enjoyed this last season? Uh, this has been my fourth season riding for Eurosport. Uh, I'm I found a good level in the B team. I did a couple of races for Thierry in the A team, uh, which was way too hard. Uh, you know, trying to not finish last wasn't very uh, satisfactory. But I found my level, I think, at, at B, and I would say this has probably been the the most enjoyable of of the seasons uh it's a season split into two halves for me i i discovered uh a fan with uh using the the indoor trainer midway through the season and i cannot tell you the improvement that that made uh just uh from the level of sweat and the but the performance level you know definitely it helped with that and my i jumped probably 20 places just from using a fan or at least that's what i put it down to uh, but it was a really good season. We had a great team. Uh, we had a lot of guys who were a similar level, so it was quite motivating to see everybody at the same, you know, same points in races and all. You know, even one one race we had three guys in for a sprint finish for you know the top ten, which was really enjoyable. Uh, I really enjoyed the team time trial for the first time this year. Uh, many we've had in the past have. Uh, you know, we splintered or had to come back together, and it's you know that can be a little bit frustrating. I mean, it's it's still fun, but this one this year we we kept together a group and really went for it and really functioned well. Uh, I I I don't do it for the courses. I mean, I think the courses are interesting, and I think you learn about yourself which which courses suit you and which don't. Uh, I used to think I was a climber, but I don't think that anymore after seeing how people do on the climbing uh, courses compared to me. Uh, but no, it's been a great season. Uh, thank you again, Thierry. It's uh, been such a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, I hope we can keep doing this uh, in the future. Thank you. Then we move to, to France. Uh, that was on the 1st of February. Douce France. Team time trial. The first one. I mean, I must say, Team Time Trials for me is the, that's my favorite uh, racing. I just absolutely love it. I think it's brilliant. It's really showing the, yeah, it, it's a proper team effort. Um, I don't I think, think you I get think such so a too. buzz from. I think so too. And to be honest, I would rather there was more uh, yeah. Team Time Trials. I think the, they start with it were 50 50. Yeah, they? season oh. one, they used to alternate between Team Time Trial and Points Race. Yeah. Um, but I think because the WTRL, they have their. You know, team time trial Thursdays. Of course, they, yeah, they kind yeah, of yeah. they probably thought that was already enough, um, right. and there was not probably enough space yeah. for the the pure pure points races. So they've now gone to down to two only. Um, yeah, which I I think is a bit of a bit of a shame. You know, two out of eight is maybe another one could be. Yeah, I think so. I, I, I wish they would spice things up a bit and even doing an individual time trial. That would be you an know, interesting or, thing as well. Yeah, yeah, things like that, like that you know, dif different yeah. things. Because yeah. I, th I feel that we need a bit more novelty. And uh, yeah. I think the courses have been good this season. But, um, it, it, yeah, I think they could spice things up a yeah, tiny yeah. bit more. Yeah. It's funny. The team time trials for me, I struggle because it's just that, that constant wattage. It's not really my... It doesn't suit me well. I mean, I like the team aspect. Yeah. And I definitely get a high on that and it's fun. But... Um, but I struggle. Um, so, you know, even on, so on, on, the, on this team time trial, we all finished together. Uh, it was one of our best races, actually. We finished third. We were seven points or seven seconds out of second place. Um, and we were five riders. Um, but I'm pretty sure I was hanging off the back most of the time. <laughs> Yeah, I th I think I think it's important to remind yourself, and it's very difficult to remind yourself though. With with a team time trial, when when you're there, and I'm I'm certainly there, thinking I'm really hanging off here. I'm really struggling. These guys are all fresh. They're all thinking it's fine, and here's me struggling. Anyway, everybody's thinking that. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody's <laughs> thinking. I'm everybody's struggling. going. Why is he pushing so hard yeah. at the front? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's very easy to forget that. I yeah, think, especially yeah. when you're when you're really well, and the the, the 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 practice we've had with the team trials has certainly helped because in our, uh, especially yeah. last year in the seas, we had a couple of really really big, heavy strong riders and a couple of lighter climber riders, and you know when those bigger guys got to the front, um, they would just push off, but then sort of similar to the you know the, the smaller guys would get off and 
uh, you know, on, a, on an incline or yeah. something and lose the, lose the entire it, we, team. As we well. have seen improvements. I mean, we'll talk about the, the, the Richmond one later, but versus the previous seasons, I think that you guys have had a really good races. The team time trials, I think, you know, were really good. You you finished second. Team B finished second in one. We had a good result as well, I think, in team... I don't remember exactly how we finished, but um, it was... Um, yeah, I think we have improved in that practice. Those Thursdays practice in between yep. season have really helped. Yeah, yeah. So um, hopefully that's something we can carry on doing. Uh, but yeah, for me, the, the team time trial is just... Um, I just love it. I think it's the most fun. You're on Discord with everyone. Um, yeah, I think it's what, it's, this is, what this is built for, yeah. I think. Um, it's a good point. The individual time trial would be interesting as well. The thing, the thing is, though, with the team tri- time trials, and it's been better this season... When you catch up with another team, it can be it can yeah. be frustrating. Or they've done it better this season. Yeah, I, I think I think it's better with the the faster ones going first. Yeah. Because you find yourself sort of spending your energy sort of backing off, and do you go yeah. for it? And yeah. and then actually you're not squeezing everything out your out your legs, which is a shame because that's yeah. what you're yeah. especially what when you're there once to you do. start being overtaken, then there's another team coming by, and another one. You, literally, your race is over. Yeah, uh, and you know it's funny because the technology is there to stop that. They don't have to, we don't have to affect each other. They could yeah. they could they could change the settings, you know. But I you know I get it. We we'll want it to be as as realistic as possible. But this but one is was a good one. I, I like the front the France course because you got it's very windy as well. It's got these little up and down. It's not yeah. your you know there's a tiny hill as well before the bridge. So it's a, it's a good course. It's a, it, I think it was more difficult than it's not your you know, flat, just pure, you no, know, the London that section, type of, you I can't know. remember which direction we did it, but there's that section either at the end or the beginning that's windy. Yeah, the intestines when they yeah, call it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that, I think it was at the beginning and, and we really struggled to get sort Yeah, of our, that was our, on the way up, exactly. Our, our yeah. bearing through there, but... Um, but it, was a, it was a really, for us, I think it was a really good one that we went, we went from six to five reasonably quickly, but then with the five of us just really were, were, were all feeling pretty much the same, you know, and it yeah. was, it was, it was a really nice team time trial, that one. <clears throat> Hi there, it's, it's me, Stefan, uh, just doing some uh, cross country skiing in the Alps. So, uh, right now in the holidays um yeah why why do i like uh, swift riding <clears throat> uh, there are se- several uh, reasons sorry it's quite cold here um because i like to compete <laughs> this is one of the main reasons uh but the other reason is because i can do it uh at night <laughs> or at at home when uh, when the the children are uh, sleeping i i have to be honest i I prefer racing uh, in the in the real world, um, but there is also the, the third reason, the, the security reason. It's it's, it's just more safe for do, <laughs> doing uh, downhill in in Swift than uh, on the real world. Uh, yeah, and it's fun. It's fun with Thierry. Thierry does a good job here uh, as an organizer. Um, quite a good directeur sportif. Um, yeah, those are the the main reasons. So. Thank you. Have a nice evening. And then we had, uh, ha, this is going to be an interesting one. That's uh, race number five, Temples and Towers, Macquarie Island. Um, points race where basically that was the big debate whether to go for gravel or not to gravel. That was the question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We and spent a lot of time debating this. Yeah. Race, right. That, yeah, yeah. It, came, it, it, it really nothing came of it, at least no. in our race. So. I think in, um, and I think this is where we see the differences in the divisions because in, I think in C, you might have the time to change. I think in A, there's just no chance, you know, that there's nobody will change the bike and stop because if you, you know, changing the bike will take you 10, 15 seconds. You, you're gone by then. It's, there's no chance yeah. whether a guy in C will gain that advantage back. And we saw that last season a lot more. So, because I, I did that last season, I changed the bike on that hill with the gravel. Um, but I wasn't with the lead group. I was just behind the lead group, and I was kind of riding with two or three riders. So um, I wasn't worried about the two or three riders. I was worried about catching up. And I changed, and and I and I caught up substantially, uh, and it really worked out well for me in that race. But in this race, uh, I came to that hill in the lead group, 
and so you can't you, stop. No, you can't no. stop. So we we just we just raced. No one no one changed bikes. But it was um, I think for Team C, I kind of really let. The thing is, in that race compared to the other one, is that we, I think it was we started in uh, Neokyo, if I remember well, and mm-hmm. then you go to Makuri Island, and then you had that gravel section up and down, and then went back to. to yeah. So it's kind yeah, of yeah, two yeah. thirds into the ride. I think you had that big KOM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it? Two and a half K long or something. So there was not. It's just that one segment. So I think for the C, there was not really any point unless maybe you were really just going for the fastest for the through, for the fastest yeah. through. um and yeah it's it's funny because actually it was i was just chatting to Stu. um he's he's in team a and he said to me oh i know someone who's gonna <laughs> who's gonna do a tactic where he's gonna smash himself in the first kom and then just go easy and then kind of um change bike and then you know and i said why don't you just I, I, and I thought that's that's a bit it's a bit dangerous, but why not just uh, go easy at the start and then you know yeah. switch you know just literally let the peloton go, switch bike, and then give absolutely everything because I I knew that in Team B or in Team A nobody will stop to sw- switch bike unless yeah. you have that tactic. Yeah. But if you did that tactic, having done an all-out five-minute effort at the beginning, you 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 already spent so many matches. So that was my tactic for the day and yours as well. I said, and, okay, and Jamie, because like, yeah. yeah, I think yeah, we were yeah. both the kind of least fit in the team. I think. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But then I we have a good was. climb. So yeah. I thought, you know what, let's just, let's yeah. go for glory. And it, and you really went for it with the tactic of going super, super easy at the start, which which proved to be a brilliant tactic. I, I didn't have the, the guts to do that, but I did, I let the main bunch go and then I sat, I think there was four of us were sitting at like, 230 watts or something like that you know for, yeah. to, to get there and then eased off as I got there did the bike change and up I went on my own and I was surprised just how many people I was passing as yeah. I was as I was yeah. going up on yeah. the gravel bike and huge advantage huh yeah, yeah it, it I, really I, makes a difference and I found at least I didn't change my bike on this race but in past races um, you know be, it gives you wings as well in the sense like you see yourself going faster so yeah, you push yeah, yourself yeah. more yeah absolutely um, and yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I didn't, I, you know, I said, well, listen, I've nothing to lose. I'll, I'll, I'll go for it. It was a great idea. But I thought, I'm never going to do do all that well, you know. But You're not far off, huh? I think it was, you were five seconds yeah, or six yeah, seconds yeah. from the yeah. from the, the top spot. I think you were, yeah. sec- you were second. Yeah. And uh, yeah, probably those, those. but then again, you, know, then, but you finished much higher up the rankings than me. I finished dead last. So you yeah. must have finished. I don't know whatever it was, fiftieth or sixtieth, whatever. Yeah, it was, it was low down, but not, yeah, but not, not as low as not, me. Not, yeah. So the extra whatever two three points you get to get first on the on the fastest through. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gained them back. Whereas me, I mean, I I I knew that even keeping a few minutes with the peloton at the start would be suicidal because I just you know it's yeah. it's got you you got to you, you got to do 400 400 watts uh, yep. at the beginning so yeah. I just think okay I'm not going to do but that this this kind of race definitely suits me um more punchy even sort of medium climbs not super long climbs but I'm not a climber and I'm not a sprinter but I'm decent enough at both that you know this kind of race suits me so I came into that last climb in the top group um, I was think I was sixth, uh, first across the line and fastest through, um, and I completely killed myself to get that. And then I remember on the way back down, Henrik passed me. Well, I I, I lost the wheel at the top because I went across the line. And I was exhausted. And I lost the the first nine, and then Henrik came and basically pulled me all the way home. Yeah. But he finished ninth. I think I finished twelfth. Um, but uh, yeah, that, I, I know I like that race. That was a good race. Yeah, that was a good race. It was yeah, fun. And it was, it was for great. Me it's, yeah. The tactic made it real, yeah. real good. No, good I mean, fun, like yeah. you said, I mean, the, I literally went at you know 150 watts at the start. It was just literally yeah. just you know, I just battle everyone. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it yeah, must feel weird that it, it must was feel really strange. strange. I was yeah. on my own um, <laughs> I remember for the that. whole race. <laughs> yeah, we had finished the race and we were all back on Discord talking to each other, and you were still pedaling. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're still finishing the race yeah and um but yeah yeah switch bike and i get i get i absolutely killed myself on that on that climb um because i knew like a few last season and the, the season before we had we had blake who 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 got 
a really good time and I kind of roughly knew what it would take in terms of wattage. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I set myself a target of watts and I thought, okay, I've just got to hold on to that. And I think I did a little bit better and eventually, but my time what, what was, was... What was the target? I think it was 360 or 370 something watts no, if, if no, no actually it could, it could have been even four, sure, 400, 400 it could have been even 400 watts that's actually. not a short climb because how long how long did that climb um, I think it took me six minutes so it must be yeah. I must have done 390 or 380 watts something like that for, for, for the <laughs> wow yeah six yeah. minutes but I, you know that was it that was my <laughs> that was my race and I beat the I beat the guy I beat the second guy by I think five seconds or something so that was it was really close yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. it was it was worth it and i think had so, i so, kept so with just the peloton to give you an idea of the difference between a and c because i was sixth and six fastest through and i probably averaged 280 watts for the climb yeah and you averaged probably 380 to 400 watts for the climb yeah so, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And so but okay but i but i as well i had my it was shorter because i well quicker because i had the gravel bike and you didn't so you probably yeah. lost, you know, at least thirty seconds sure, on, on sure, that. Yeah, still. But um, <laughs> but still, <laughs> yeah. But that was for me. Those, you know, we'll talk about the highlights later on. But that clearly, that was for me my my personal highlight of the season because it was, you know, first time I, you know, to get the the the, the KOM or the fastest through segments is yeah. is uh, you know. That was pretty cool. That yeah. was really, really cool. So thanks to Stu for that recommendation tactic. The, do you know the fastest through the segment thing is is a brilliant addition to a race. It's it's really it, it's a really good thing to, to do. And and for me, wouldn't it be fascinating to do that in the in the Tour de France, you know, or in, in professional races on mm. the road? Because often you see in the tour that the, the the sprint points are there, but they're just hoovered up by the breakaway who don't care about the sprint points. Yeah. And, they, and then they, the yeah. real sprinters come along and there's not so much to sprint for. But if they did a fastest through the segment, which I'm sure they've got the technology to do, it would... It would be interesting. It would yeah. be... Uh, although would although be for me, to, I think the, the... Again, we can talk about this later, but the the I think there's too many points awarded for points. Uh, as in the first across the line segments and the fastest through they, segments. They, they tend to get gobbled up by all the same people. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think unless you're in the top, I mean, and even in Team C, we've had, you know, I think that was our best season. Um, we finished fourth overall, should have been third. Again, we'll talk about this later, <laughs> my fault. Um, but the, you know, we're finishing th consistently third, fourth, fifth on all the races. But the guys ahead, number one and two, are just miles away. Miles you know? away. Miles yeah. away. I mean, and it's um, not fun anymore, you know. To you, you, yeah, because that's where for me the the finishing points should be higher, and the first across the line, the faster through segment, you know. Well, faster through segment, there's not many in any case. That's fine, but the first across the line points, I find that especially on a sprinting stage, you have six sprints. No, you can. Well, the thing I find strange, and in prior seasons, it was wasn't like this. Well, and then when we were in C four, it was it was a bit different. C two, yeah, these two teams are so far; they were so far and away from everyone else, and they wouldn't only win the sprints and the fastest throughs and the first across the lines, but also the KOMs, you know, and the power they're putting yeah. in. It's just like yeah. I, I don't understand how you're, you know, the, it's all within the the watts and stuff, but it's just like you know, it's impressive, yeah, it's impressive. But um, no, so yeah, anyway, that was my, uh, now we're moving on, we're talking a lot, but that's great, and that's how much we enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, hey guys, my name is Kasper. I've joined the Swift Racing League since uh, this season. Uh, I've been um, uh, trying to do my best in the C League with a couple of guys. Uh, I really enjoyed the, uh, the, the group members, I really enjoyed the enthusiasm that there is. Uh, Jerry is our, uh, our main coach, always uh, trying to inspire us and always trying to push us uh, a little bit further. Uh, I've known him since, um, for a couple of years now, I joined some of his cycling camps in the past and we did uh, the Alpe d'Huez uh, two years ago with a couple of other guys and, uh, and the planning is to do it this year as well. So I'm using the Swift Racing League as a kind of a motivation for me to do some training indoors in the pain cave when, uh, when cycling outside is, uh, isn't possible uh, yet. Um, and yeah, I've, uh, I've really learned to enjoy it. And, maybe, and then I, I, will, I will stay in the Racing League as long as I can and try to maybe uh, 
get to a B level someday. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's about it. Um, back to oh, that was a good one. Climbers Gambit, Watopia. Oh yeah, I was six. really looking forward to this one actually because that's that that is for me whereas where they're innovating a bit this season yes. with different races. Yeah. So we had the flat sort of start. I mean, through the 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 what is it called again? The S's on the in the yeah. Uh, what is it called again? The um, uh, Titans Grove, you know, yeah, where you yep. had all the dinosaurs and things and whatever. Yeah, and yeah. then, and then you go on Epic KOM, which is a proper, you know, around sort of twenty minute climb. Yeah, and that was great, really cool because it 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 will favor, of course, the lighter riders, and it gives a chance to these riders to compete. But this one, there was a sprint at the very. There was beginning. a sprint at the beginning, yeah, that's and true. then a small KOM, and then a large KOM. So it was, it was, it was, it was really. Yeah, it's true. Kind of it was for diverse. sprinters, punches, yeah. and then the climbers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but um, I remember for Team A, we had uh, Ramon. Has actually he had a brilliant race. Uh, I think he finished second or third overall. I don't remember well now. Um, just a fantastic race, and uh, so it was really suited suited for him this one and. I I got dropped fairly early on. I think it was at the first little ramp up. There was a very steep ramp at the beginning. A uh, bit of I just knew I I I wouldn't I I knew I wanted to keep some matches for the climb. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. I think I started the climb. I found a little group. We went to the climb. I think I was in 60th position or something and then finished 35th or 38th something like that. Yeah. Just hoovering these we, guys on the back you know and we had a lot of yeah. debate about the bike great. choice on that one as well right yeah whether, the bike choice whether as well, it was that's super true. light for the for the climb or, or more of a yeah. arrow we we and in seas anyway we had a really good team race because we had casper and and henrik who who took sprint, sprint points huh? yeah we had julian who took points the titans grove, on yeah. the titans grove calm and then henrik um uh actually then pulled me after the titans grove pulled me back up to the lead group so I could start the final climb uh, with the lead group, which I did. And I, unfortunately, I didn't do my job, which is to get into the top 10. I was 11th in that race. Yeah. Yeah. It was my best place. And I could see the 10th place yeah. guy yeah. Uh, you know, ahead of me. And uh, I just couldn't reel him in. Um, but it was, it was a great race for me. It was a great race for the team. It was one of the best team races, I think. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Team B, do you have fond memories of that one? Yeah, I mean, it's it's always tough to finish with a climb, but it's great, yeah. you know. It's it's and it was like you say, it was a brilliant, a brilliant race and a nice, um, a great course to to put onto yeah. to a course like that. I think uh, Roman did well in that one, and Guillaume really started to come into his own. I think Guillaume's done done so well throughout the season. He's I've I've, I've seen him improve. I think yeah. you know he's really and that, that's when he really started to get. Uh, to get super strong and he did he uh, did brilliantly for us in in that race and i think i think we all did uh we all did pretty well um not sure ali didn't uh i ali think he passed that one though i think he didn't do this one i think he was ill on that one I yeah think, did i he, think did that's the one he was ill yeah. i think yeah yeah but um no it's it's true there's a few few riders which did we did really well in a i mean obviously i just talked about mario so i enjoyed it unfortunately we had that was a bit of start at the beginning of the end for us in A because um, so we had a technical. One of the riders had a technical at the start. There was only four of us in any case, and one had a had a technical, couldn't start, so only three started, which means that's a disqualification, um, which was a bit annoying because obviously I had a great great race. Ramon had a fantastic race, uh, and then you get a DQ. So then, it's, yeah. it was a bit, you know, kind of all right. Well, then you get zero points. That's all for nothing. It's like ah. Oh. Yeah. And um, yeah, but um, yeah, I, I'd like to see more of those, and I think we will have uh, more of those next season. Actually, of these these different races. Yeah. That's that's where I really want to see. But um, cool. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bruno and I race for the Juga Sports A team. The Zwift Racing League is the place to be every Tuesday. We have such an amazing E team with Juga Sports. Uh, the team spirit around that team is amazing and it gives you that extra bit of energy that you need every Tuesday to give it all out and give everything for the team on top of all the efforts you do that individually. One of my favorite moments last season was the second race, the London Classic, uh, six laps. Uh, very flat, that's my favorite, and uh, give it all out every lap for the sprints. 
uh, it was very challenging giving everything back and then making sure you could keep with the with the main peloton i love that race and i hope we can have this uh, london classic again uh, for the next seasons to come and um moving on to richmond that's plenty plenty to talk about um Let's start with, well, we're going to very quickly start with A because that was very simple. It was the holiday season uh, in Switzerland and unfortunately we couldn't get a team together. So that's it. <laughs> Did not start. I actually went on my skiing holiday in the chalet. I brought my bike, brought the turbo trainer, ready to race. And then, you know, two days before I get a couple of guys, oh, I can't race, I can't race. Ah, well, all right. There's only... That's life. Unfortunately, we're all busy. It's the holidays. I know it's going to work. We struggle. And that's why I think sometimes this eight week season is just for me, I find it too long. I think I wish there was only six, mm -hmm. you know, five to mm -hmm. six races, I think yeah. would be enough. I think eight is, is a bit too much to ask for people to really every week. And I just find that as well. Now we have four weeks until the next one. You don't have a huge amount of time to train, you know, so it's yeah you know so but anyway that's the that's the it is always way. incredible how quick it goes in though i'm always like yeah. what's the end of the season already what's yeah. how yeah. did that where did those weeks go it's yeah it's long eight weeks of it, it car racing yeah yeah, 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 really yeah it's, it's, it's long. long yeah actually in the sea we were quite fortunate we had a really solid base of yeah of, of teammates you know i think we had pretty much four four even five riders who were almost there every single week you know and we'd supplement with a couple other riders but uh But the core crew was was pretty consistent. The so let's start with um, let's let's start with Team uh, B perhaps actually that was um, your that was the best result <laughs> we talked yeah. before. But the, that was the best team's result. But Jamie's worst it race. It was my worst <laughs> race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was um, the team just did an amazing job. Um, once once they got in sync they were they were really pushing hard in the front and and they were doing and i was so i got dropped really early on there was the big hill and i i got a, a tiny bit of a gap at the at the bottom of the hill and then i'm pushing to try to catch up back up with them i was pushing quite a few watts to get with them i'm not managing to catch them by the time we got to the top of the hill i'm like 10 seconds behind i said listen guys just go because you know by the time i've burnt more matches to catch them yeah. up again they were clearly Uh, in better shape than me, so so it was time for for them to go. I said, Ali, you can do the you can do the calling out, and and he got the list. But then I was still able to because I had the list. I write down the list on my computer, you know, so I know who's coming up next, and and I don't. Uh, so I still had that. So I was still I was still tell speaking to them all, you know, and saying, right, you're up next, and and you know, and oh, yeah. so you're still DSing basically. So still yeah. still DSing from afar. Because you <laughs> you could actually on that scenario for next time. If it happened, which I hope it won't, yeah, yeah. But you could ride and just pedal, but you can do fan view and you can view another rider. You still ride yourself, right? But, but you can view see someone them from, else, right? So yeah, you yeah, could yeah. DS while you still pedal, and obviously. So while you're pedaling, you don't see what what you're doesn't what your matter guys because doing, you know you can pedal 100 watts or whatever, and yeah, you know yeah. you're not going to interfere with anybody. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. See, I didn't yeah. know about the fan view. But thing. The, the team B, there was um, so second overall. Amazing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's yeah. stunning. Yeah, yeah, they, they had, they were just really on fire, and and it was, you know, I was, I was delighted because that was definitely the right choice for me to say, yeah. on you go, you know, that 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 was never going to work out well for me to stay with them. So yeah, I mean, it's disappointing, you know, when and I'm I like, think only seven, I think only seven, you have the results there, but I think only seven seconds, or twenty seconds, twenty seconds, I think, from that was stage um, seven. Stage seven, yeah. So I think seven second or twenty seconds from from the from the top spot, which is not a lot, you know. And you, you've yeah, got to have a, got? a strong. Uh, yeah, thirty five forty is that the? Let me look. Thirty five forty versus. I think it was. Um, yeah, forty seven twenty five, forty seven twenty six, and forty seven oh seven was the first. Right. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, yeah twenty less seconds, than twenty eh? seconds. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's, that's stiff opposition they're up against. And but you know we're it's pretty well the third guys are forty seven twenty nine so it's three seconds in front of the third guys but then it's yeah. it's quite I, I think that was absolutely brilliant and um, so I was as I didn't race I was basically I could, I was kind of DSing a little bit I was just looking at the race at the end and it was just yeah. brilliant to watch you guys were just doing absolutely an amazing job no they were job. they were all they were all really. And like I said, so so similar as well. You know, I think everybody was still strong at the end. Nobody seemed to be. And, and I think that's been the strength a bit with the in some in some aspect of the team B, 
where you guys, especially for the team time trial, you have very similar numbers in terms of FTP and kind of, mm -hmm. you know, you yeah. don't have huge discrepancies. Yeah, yeah, which is a great thing. So if team time trial that works well, where it could, it's a bit the downfall on other races because we don't have so many pure sprinters or so many pure climbers. That's kind of the, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, for the team but time actually, trial, that really worked well. And I tell like, as Robert was disappointed at that, Robert, was, Robert, was dropped with a few kilometers to go really yeah you know, he was with them for for most of it and he was ah oh, sorry guys i got dropped but for me that's absolutely not a problem at no. all he, he, he did his no because he, he helped the team he, all he helped them get yeah. there you know exactly. and, and then if anything yeah. i think you're you're going to get your best time if you drop the fifth guy with yeah, a absolutely. couple of kilometers yeah. out because the fifth guy is going to give it everything yeah and then yeah. you know yeah. you don't need a fifth and person in any across. case for the, you for the you know one. last two or three kilometers it's just you know that's you're going to lose what a couple of seconds or something or it's not going to affect a lot you know so no and and you can get that the the, the fifth the fifth uh, racer to 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 just spend everything to yeah exactly to give you that little push and then drop off because yeah like i say they don't they don't need to cross the line no um with you no absolutely so i think i think robert i, th I yeah i thought robert was a bit disappointed at that like oh sorry but he, he really had no no reason to it was a i did yeah <laughs> i did because i didn't help him much at all uh, but but he didn't yeah so Team C, that was the could have been the best race, and then eventually, Team unfortunately, C, it yes. was the worst race. We finished uh, well. What, what did we we finished first, first in, or last, depending on first or <laughs> last, depending on how you count it. In our hearts, we counted as we finished first. We actually finished a minute and forty five seconds ahead ahead yeah. of the second Seconds. place team, which is incredible. Um, um, and then we got disqualified. <laughs> yeah, so the, the the disqualification is is my fault. I mean, we had we had um, one rider who had started the season as a C, um, and you know, he's a Stefan's a really really good. I know he's a he's a good rider. He's a, he's he's normally a B rider, but he had quite a lot of health issues. Um, recently and so basically he's been training to come back and that's a lot of us have moved between you know a b c whatever you know so it's mm -hmm. it's normal to to you know use that to springboard a bit your your and to use that racing for your fitness and i hadn't noticed that actually he had bumped up to to to, to a, a b, b yeah. and so we started with six riders, but one was a B, and unfortunately, that meant disqualification. So that was really my fault. Um, I, I should have I should have spotted that. Um, it's it these things happen. It's true. We have, you know, I don't want to make excuses, but we have you know more than twenty twenty five people on the roster. Um, I get sometimes up to ten changes the day before or the day yeah, of the racing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think I was on holiday as well. That was the holiday week. Yes, exactly. So it, it, I just, you know, I, I didn't, I just didn't check and I just assumed that he was still a, a C and uh, he had bumped up to B. So, and, and in, in fairness, during the race, he, he gave pretty much his all and still produced C numbers. So, yeah, yeah. You know, well, I mean, he, um, uh, and, and the thing is, it wasn't like he pulled us around the whole time. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, the the guys we had racing were Henrik, Olivier, Casper, myself, and and Stefan. So, Henrik, Olivier, and Casper are you know just power machines. Yeah. You know, they can just lay it down, and and that's why I got dropped after you know the first three quarters of the first lap, um, and uh, and and then and then Stefan, and so you know they all took their turns, and to be honest. I think it was Henrik and Casper sharing yeah. sharing the, the load on the front most of the time, which is what they normally do. Um, but um, no, it was it was it was just the right team, and and they and they they did, they excelled. So um. that's a shame because I mean, obviously, like you said, we it, it was a win. I mean, it was a um, it was a win, and I think you could debate. Yes, without Stefan, we would maybe. I don't know if it was only five riders, we might have gone. Yeah perhaps two minutes slower but that would still be second place or something yeah. so we still had a very very strong yeah i, th I think it was a bit uh, it was a bit unfair to then get zero points you know you're constantly you know you're on the podium and everything and then bam you're kind of zero yeah, points yeah. the other guys get in whatever 15 and and you would think they could you know the technology they've got is awesome to and block it, it to yeah you think they could put a ping up like 
you know, or not let you yeah. sign somebody up when it's, it's it's strange. You should you shouldn't be able to click that link if you're in a different category, perhaps or something. But yeah, yeah but it's uh, because and in that case, like you say, he was C number, so it didn't didn't really affect the the others. But but it could happen that that we end up racing against an A rider, and all right, they'll get disqualified. But then it's no fun while we're while we're doing it. You know. Yeah, it's true. I mean, yeah, it, it was better, really right? an honest mistake, and and yeah, things happen, but. It was. I remember. So I was DSing because you, obviously you guys had. You know, you were third in the in the in the league. So I kind of I, I was DSing, and you started at eight thirty with the B starting at eight forty eight. So I thought, okay, I'll first DS the the C team, and it's just amazing to watch. You know, really, that was. It's you really got the the. the I really enjoyed it watching it, and yeah, how much you, you guys gave it all, and and then switching to the B later on. It's just fantastic. So. Yeah. yeah, that that was really for me the, the the best race of the 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 season. I mean, of course, with could have been, you know, even better, a second place, perhaps even a first place. But um, yeah, highlight for me for sure. And both Jamie and I got dropped. <laughs> <laughs> and then I didn't race. Yeah, so. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah captain did a great yeah. job that week. <laughs> My name is Roman. I only recently got into cycling and I have now finished my second Zwift Racing League season with the team of Jura Sports. What I found is that Wednesday mornings during the season can be a bit more challenging, but put differently, competing as a team every week is really rewarding and a lot of fun. Everyone on the team gives everything he has for the team to do well. We have a lot of fun before the races, during the races, after the races, and quite frankly, those races are tough. They test everything you have, your sprint, I clearly don't have much of that, your VO2 max, your threshold, your mental strength. And looking back at last season, Climbers Gambit possibly ticked all of these boxes best. So for me, the ZRL is really about the fun of racing. It's much more fun than any high intensity workout could ever be. You push yourself so much harder, you progress faster in my view, but ultimately it's part of being part of a great team and being part of a global community in the ZRL is what really strikes a nerve with me most. That's why I'm part of it. And that's why I'm looking forward to the start of next season. And uh, yeah, anyway, and so final race that was Paris, um, which again in team A, not enough riders. So that was really, you know, now three races in a row with no, zero points. So that was a bit disappointing, but okay. I didn't mind because honestly the Paris course, I just really don't enjoy. Um, and, uh, but team B, you guys had a pretty good race actually. Yeah, I was obviously entering with some trepidation after being dropped the week before. I was thinking, and, and like you, not a not a course. Last time I did that course, it was just awful. The sprints were really, really yeah. strong, and um, but I, I managed to hang on for longer than I expected. I was happy. I I got stayed with the group. Was it six laps? Was it six? I think it, it was, was six, six for the bees. And four. Yeah. It was yeah, like six the, and a half. You had the lead in, so it's that kind lead of in, six and yeah, a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a and six and a half. half and four and four and a half. And, and then off, yeah, five, I think five, um, five different sprints for us would have been seven sprints for you guys. Yeah, yeah, and I was with. I managed to stay with the main group right until the second last sprint sort of thing, the second last lap. So I was I was happy with that, and we had a bit of a uh, we had a bit of an all star team because of you guys not racing we had Stuart yes yeah, Stuart came, came down to um, B with us and who else did we have we had did we not we had another superstar uh, as well well it's on, on did we not, who did we have uh, from um, you know so anyway we had a, a superstar team which was great well um, it was it was in St and Stefan basically who was from well who now could race who's who's a B he was there you had so it was Guillaume yeah. Stefan Vice Stu yourself yeah. and Robert um, yeah, that and was And Vitska, has been super strong as well. Yeah, he's had a good season. season he's not? really yeah. done well. And I, and again, uh, like Guillaume, I, I feel I've seen a massive improvement in in. Uh, well, Guillaume, the, that was really his race. He picked yeah. up a lot of points. Yeah, uh, he's he likes those those really punchy sort of uh, rides. 
yeah and uh yeah he picked up a lot of first across the line points so that was uh that was a good race for him yeah but yeah, yeah so fifth, fifth overall on a, on a, on a on a very difficult stage so that was yeah that was good yeah no i think really it good. was it was a brilliant finish to to like you say to a, a good season for, yeah. for team b yeah. and team team c that was a great race i loved it it was a great race i, I was um, guessing that and, and it was, i went it was amazing you know uh, as jamie i went into this race with a bit of trepidation because i'm not a sprinter and it was a flat sprinter course and i got dropped the week before um and i ended up having one of my best races um and and we really worked as well as a team um uh, because we, you know, we did lead outs and we had people go for sprints and finish line stuff. And Henrik just went insane. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, he picked and, up so um, many points. He picked up so many points. And, and I, in fact, the team had um, the most prime points of any of the teams. Yeah. Even compared to those top two teams that are always racking up all the points. So, um, so you know, we ended up finishing third, but quite close to second place yeah only a few points i think and um and no it was was a great it was a great race Um, it was fun because everyone everyone contributed you had you had henrik obviously who took a lot of those points but you were all there for a while you know in that in that main bunch you know it was the bunch i think it was about 20 yeah there was five of us around for half of it quite a long time four of us stayed there right until the last yeah until the the end um and then i did that one i did that lead out that, um, exactly I was going to say on the, the final before the final on the final uh, uh, lap you went with you know just before just that before the turn at the uh, the Triomphe and, yeah, and yeah. We, just, we thought okay let's just do it why not it's yeah, so funny because we had, had a feather you had what did you have I had the feather so we were on, going on the uphill so yeah. I used it the last second on the, up, the last part of the uphill and then had to go around the arc and come back and, and hit the sprint and the idea was that I was going to burn myself to get the sprint points, whereas Henrik and the rest of the team would continue yeah. on for the, for the finish line, which was only, you know, a kilometer after that or something. And uh, but we hadn't really talked about it that much. You just said use use the feather and go, and then you said, but you got to commit. And I yeah. remember I remember <laughs> yeah, you yeah. saying you got to commit. Right while I stood up out of the saddle, and I was like, oh, 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 no. oh my god, this is going to be harder than I think. <laughs> and for the next I looked at the time after basically for the next two minutes I was at 420 watts or 450 watts or whatever it was that's and what it I, takes yeah and mm. I think that was and I hit 198 heart rate <laughs> oh, well done that's a good effort yeah <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I should be dead yeah um, yeah, yeah and I yeah. felt that way too but uh no that was probably the hardest Two but you got later. you got first across so the line. So I got first across the line. That's awesome. a that's a yeah, huge, that's awesome. uh, yeah, which yeah. was great, which was awesome. Yeah. And then uh, and then of course everyone passed me to go yeah, into, the, okay. into the finishing, and I finished uh, I don't know fifteenth or seventeenth. Yeah, but you just got the ten fine. points. But I got the ten points, and then Henrik and those other guys finished uh, finished well. On the, on, on and the Henrik line. actually, I don't know, you, you, obviously you were <laughs> recovering from your one hundred ninety eight BPM. <laughs> <laughs> um, Henrik passed you, and basically he went for it. So he he really right after the sprint kind of tried to go like that's it because he, he was telling me he doesn't have the same sprint as the other guys the rhinos and the foudre team so he thought i've got to i've got to go early yeah and he went and uh but just got caught it was heartbreaking you know i was just <laughs> shouting yeah. on the earphone you know <laughs> just gonna go oh, no. um, and i think he got caught with literally just a few meters from the line you know it was Oh, it's just I really thought he, was, he I thought he would win. I, yeah, I thought he was going to win, yeah, and yeah. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it didn't quite work out. But it was the right tactic, and uh, it's funny because I saw him then over the weekend at Park Run, and he was saying, "I just went too early," you know. He kind yeah, of was yeah, still yeah, bothering yeah, him. Yeah. He just still had that in yeah, his mind, yeah, you know. Yeah. And but hey, you gotta you gotta try. Yeah, yeah. No, I was it was uh, that was a, that was a fun race for sure. I was thinking what my tactic. Speaking of going too early, I thought I I well I didn't went too late if anything on the one which where i did finally get dropped we were all sitting we're coming around the arc and it was super easy the whole group was going super easy and i'm thinking this is this isn't going to go well you know and but i'll stay with the group i'll stay with and then of course everybody's fresh and bang when everybody went they really went and that's when i got when i got gapped i was thinking maybe what i should have done is when I'm sitting thinking it's easy, just go. And mm-hmm. I'm going to get caught. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know I'm going to get caught. But at least I'll have a little bit of a lead when I do get caught. Because I can squeeze out watts for, for longer. Not so many watts, but for potentially for longer than... Yeah. than mm-hmm. So I could maybe have gone, got in front, and then been able to hang with the group. Because yeah. once they'd gone, yeah. there yeah. was no getting them back.
Hi, I'm Bitske Dupria. I was racing in Team Tudor Sports um, ZLR Weekly Racing in the B category. It was my first season, um, so it was all very new for me. Um, but I really appreciated uh, Thierry's effort. I find myself training on weekdays, trying to improve my FTP, um, thinking about the event, and then when the event came on Tuesday nights, you really amped up for it. Um, it's a high exertion event, so you have to use all your stamina, all your effort. Um, what I really liked last season is the team effort we did once, we, we came second, and uh, I know we left it all out on the, on the racing track. So. So yeah, thanks for, for Thierry again and um, it keeps us motivated to come to our uh, man cave and just do, do our best every week. Yeah, sure, yeah. Well, that's a wrap, I guess, for the, for the season. Um, that was it, eight stages, well, or seven, more or less. Um, but now, just a very quick one, but I just want to go through, well, we have kind of talked a bit about the highlights, lowlights, um, very briefly. Jamie, your highlights, personal highlight, team highlights. Yeah, I highlights. think as 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 we mentioned, uh, well, I think yeah, as as we said, the team highlight that that team time trial, which was also my my low light for, <laughs> for getting dropped so early, um, and personally, my my highlight I think was the the tactic where we went for it with the gravel bikes, yeah. and yeah, I surprised myself at, at that to to do so well on on what I didn't think I would I would be good at. So yeah, that that would be. That would be my roundup, I would yeah, think. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Were you Nick? Uh, my low light was definitely the getting dropped on the team time trial. Even though I I find I struggle on the team time trials, I have yet to be dropped. I've always finished in the in the in the four that needs to be it needs to finish. So that was that was disappointing. But um, but again, it was a good race for the team. So uh, I can't I can't really complain. Uh, my highlight was probably the last race, Paris. Um, just because we worked as a team, I did a, a couple of leadouts for Henrik, and I did that. Yeah, um, first across the that, line. that first across the line, um, and uh, yeah, yeah. For me, the the highlight again, I think I'll share with you, Jamie, is the the the, the Temple KOM. Yeah, you know, yeah, got yeah. the faster through segment, something in in an A cat. So I just you know couldn't dream of doing, and I, you know you got to commit. So that was really my my best performance i'm also really happy with the climbers gambit the climb at the end which i think for me the low light uh, the, well the highlight as a as a team i think we did quite well ex especially on that on that that uh race the temples and, and temples and tower because we had different tactics going on and we had a full team so we, we had a good good ranking overall low light uh for sure is that we we struggled for numbers you know that's been the 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 difficult thing in in, in it's hard a. being an a rider on any rider yeah, yeah it's yeah. super hard <laughs> yeah. i tell you you know not only it's hard to fi find people then when you find them to keep them or motivate them because yeah, yeah. a is so difficult um but it yeah it's been uh, we have motivated people but it's just that it's like i said it's difficult eight weeks in a row the commitment um, we've got guys in the US, you know, they're racing it, you know, 2 or 3 p.m., you know, yeah. for them. So it's not exactly ideal for them, you know, middle of the day, yeah. work schedule, all that. So, well, um, maybe this is a conversation for another time, but I mean, there's a lot of people riding on the A team that are B riders. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, we've, well, we've started this conversation before, but whether, whether it's, it's more motivating to be yeah. riding in B the, at a higher level yeah. than at a lower level. But then level. you're not but allowed to. You well, know, no, if if been, they, I mean, yeah. I, I couldn't race as a B, but for example, you have guys, but like a guy like Stu, he managed to drop down to B, but when, when he's really, when he's really hitting form, he's, he's going he's as an A, a. he's yeah. moving yeah. up as an A and then yeah. all of a sudden, like Bruno is an A now, he used to be a B, always yeah. raced as an A, but now he's an A. So it's kind of, it's really difficult. And so it, the, the moment I create another B team, all of a sudden you got some guys which yeah. become A and the moment I create another C team, the C guys become B and it's just, it's super difficult to, yeah, to yeah. find. But you know, look, I, I, we, we've had a couple of other riders who couldn't, couldn't do the racing because they had, um, you know, injuries or with COVID. So we, we were a bit low in any case. So I'm hoping that for next season, they'll be a, a bit better, but um, yes, yeah, numbers is is always going to be a bit of a tricky one and but for, for i think for b and c that is the first year where we for season sorry that we pretty much every race managed to have a, a full team yeah i think mm -hmm. for a team low light for b does not exist this no. this season i think it's been a really solid solid season 
Yeah, yeah, the best, I, best I think, I've seen. Uh, I think that I think. the team. Team C has done quite well as well the last the last season. Yeah, I wouldn't have a team low light the, either. The, the yeah. team B for me was the team where I thought, oh my gosh, these guys are so good. You know, they're good riders, and you get keep on getting you know tenth, ninth, eleventh, whatever. Yeah. It's like bloody hell, these guys not want to race again. But yeah. this yeah. year really shows you've really really improved. So it's been really really cool. cool yeah, really good fun. I think it's important as well though to to like I genuinely enjoy being beaten by others you know and being having something to be impressed at you know i i, mm. I, I think it's it's a it's a good sort of attitude to have to be like all right i got beaten that's amazing look how good that that guy is you know yeah it's it's, it's and great you can do it's it great. i mean then yeah. and it's a it's a it's a source of motivation yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Hi, this is Julian Grusselier. I've been racing for Jura Sports in the category C races. Why have I enjoyed the league so much this year? I think it takes me to another level. I push much harder in the races than I do in my separate personal individual sessions. Favorite race of the year? It's gotta be the time trial. Team comes together. Again, we push each other really hard. Lots of banter along the way. Encouragement to go the extra bit. Really enjoyed it this year. Looking forward to next year. All the best. Yeah, absolutely. And to finish off, MVP for each team. So um, let's start. I'll start quickly with A. Uh, with A, clearly, uh, this year has been uh, Ramon. He's been, every time he's raced, pretty much in, in top 10 or racking up some points here and there. Just a really, really good rider. Uh, like I said, second or third on that Climbers Gambit course. Um, just you know what an asset uh, in the team on the team time trial as well um, very experienced so yeah for us he just did a huge uh, did a world of good um, yeah I just want to mention as well Bruno who, who got a lot of sprint points as well which I, in A is just unreal to, to, to get you know mm-hmm. first across the line on a few on a few po- on a few segments um, so yeah that, that we we've had you know we've had a really good a decent season I'd say when we when we could race but yeah Ramon's been the the um, the, be, the best uh, the best of the yep. of the, the team yeah. A team yep. B what would be your pick well like I say it's been it's been fantastic that so we've been so even you know and I think that's really been a been a strength but uh, for me Pippin the, the head and shoulders I think Ali's been been terrific Ali, yeah, Ali Chalmers has really had a good season he's been strong threat and I mentioned earlier um, how he, he was seemed to be missing one because he's he's always there and he's always motivated and uh, and uh, always has great advice for others and he's he's, he's done a done a done a brilliant job um but what a great team to to have to, to yeah pick from. there's I mean, so many guys really you could go like like you mentioned Guillaume who's improved a lot I think he's been learning a lot about the Zwift racing as well yeah um, and, yeah, yeah. and for a first season by the way was uh, Roman who's been very he's been consistent been really, really strong you know, super consistent yeah, yeah. throughout yeah um, so I've, I've been really really impressed with how he's been yeah he's been doing but yeah like you said overall it's it's you know uh, yeah Really, really good, solid, solid team. And uh, Vitska has been—is has this been Vitska's yeah. first season? Yeah, he has as well. he's, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's because he's yeah. done really well throughout as well. He's yeah, I think really he, he kept on sending there. me screenshots uh, sort of like <laughs> FTP. Uh, uh, Zwift has detected a new FTP ah, you know, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> after great. every race or something. Great. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think he's gone yeah. up like twenty-five watts or something. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah, but uh, no. So it's been that's yeah. So yeah, for team team B, I would say Ali. Yeah, he's definitely. He's I, th- done, I think he's if I look. Look at the 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 players riders. Yeah. Uh, you have well, Jody's been great as well. Jody, there we are. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. We've had Guillaume. a few guest appearances from from Steph, um, from Alec. We've had a few guest appearances. Yeah, so exactly. yeah, yeah. Actually, funny, and, funny and enough, like to to end. say we've say you know, so Guillaume's actually the one who's had the most rider points, hundred hundred and forty six points. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, 146 for Guillaume, uh, yeah. then followed by Roman 102 and Ali 87, and yourself yeah, so 74. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's quite a yeah, yeah. But I think I think Guillaume kind of really racked up a lot of points on the first across the line. These the, little, the, the, these, the sprints these things. and yeah, yeah and yeah. consistently finishing in top top 20 pretty much every every race. Really. Yeah, so that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And team, uh, team C? Team C, I mean, wow. you know, we, 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 obviously we did fairly well all season long, thirds, fourths, and fifths. So, I mean, everybody on the team contributed, but, um, but Henrik certainly um, was sort of head and shoulders above uh, in terms of picking up the points. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, we, we sort of at the beginning of the season sort of labeled him as the sprinter, um, but the truth is, is he sprints and then he picks up the punchy points and then, you know, he hangs, he on, on, the hangs on, on the climbs. Um, and, uh, and so if there's a climb midway through, you know, he, he doesn't lose too much time, point in time and he, and he comes back. Um, but, you know, Jules picked up a lot of points cause he's a super punchy rider. He can do the sprints, he can do the, uh, the KOMs. Um, and so, and, and if he dedicates himself to get points in a certain place, he'll do it. Uh, and sacrifice for the team and Olivier is you know just consistent power and a great leader he, he normally DS's our our um, team time trials because I can't breathe during those <laughs> <laughs> 198 BPM no? yeah <laughs> um, and uh, so um, you know and and you've got Casper who rounds out the team with uh, with a lot of sprints and punchy rides as well so um, uh, yeah I know we've had a lot of contributors there's been a good like five riders in your team constantly i, I look at yeah know, between henrik olivier jules nick yourself so casper yeah yeah you know exactly. that, you know henrik olivier did all the races jules and yourself six and then casper five races so it's really um yeah. that, that consistency does does pay off yeah for sure but uh yeah definitely henrik i mean the amount of points he took uh yeah he has carried the team um, and also, and also, it's it's raising the bar for the other guys. It's motivating to know in your team you've got someone out there, and you just okay, let's just do it. And you it builds it. You yeah. get that confidence. And during as well. the time trials, he's he's yeah. doing three three minute sex segments to the rest of us who are doing you know a minute or thirty seconds. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. again, we yeah. we have different FTPs and different things. So obviously, yeah. he might go. You know, his hundred percent FTP at the front. He's doing three minutes, but the guy who's in third, he's still at hundred percent FTP because his FTP yeah, is yeah, just yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. it's just two, whatever it is, two two thirty or two forty. So it's a, it's a it's normal. But um, like you said, it's been a really good uh, good team effort. My name is uh, Henry Nissen. I'm Danish and I've been part of the Eurosport uh, Swift Racing League team for the last two seasons. I was initially a little bit reluctant to, to uh, take part, but it's been, uh, it's been really, really fun. Um, I always turn up to the races with a bit of, uh, with a bit of fear because, you know, it's <laughs> going to be very, very hard. But um, I always have um, a lot of fun, and it's uh, it's a it's a great way to 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 push yourself. As I normally on Swift, I'm not I don't really have the moral to just ride a lot on Swift. So the the, the racing really forces you to to go all out. And I have to say, the hour that a race normally takes goes very quickly. Where a normal hour on Swift is, is can be uh, quite long, but the racing really makes it uh, fun. So I'm only part of the C team uh, with, uh, with the other guys in, in that category. And I really like the, the, the fact that you're part of a team and that you're not kind of alone in, in, in your quest to succeed in the races. Uh, that gives a, a, an extra, a, extra little motivation to do well. So that um, like when we discuss the race before, before the race starts, and the debrief after, it's very fun to see the different experience, uh, different people I've had of the, the same race. So I'm what you call a heavy rider. So I prefer the more um, flat courses and with uh, the sprint, I would say I'm not a sprinter, not a, a pure sprinter, but I can uh, keep a good watch for, for a while. So I can normally do reasonably well in, in, in flat races and slightly hilly races also. Uh, where I can keep the power up the hill, but when it gets to the the big hills, the big climbs, uh, that's not for me. But I do remember um, some races ago where it, it, there was a big climb at the end, so I had kind of like conceded the fact that once I had done a sprint and a small climb, then the race was basically over for me. But on the way down from the 
intermediate hill, I passed one of my uh, teammates that was uh, clearly struggling to key, to to get up to the first group uh, again. And uh, I knew he would do quite well on the climb if he get if he got to be with the first group. So even though a kind of my race was over and I accepted that, I I did a, I did a big effort to. Um, to pull him up uh, to the first group and he actually we made it up to the first group and he did very well on the climb so this is a this is the part of the team i i like because you you get to really ride as a team and when you see somebody from your own team uh, struggling and you know you can help them then well uh, then you go for it i i do also like the the team time trials uh the team time trials where you you have to really be coordinated and strict about who does what and um, uh, it, it's been a good pleasure really find pleasure to do this time trials and i think we the captains that normally leaves leads our kind uh, time trials are very good so uh, it's been uh, it's been fun so i look forward to participating in the next season and uh, hopefully our team will do well again so that's it really anything you well, I, we can't we can't uh, go without saying a massive thank you to you, Thierry, because it's it's uh, it it doesn't go unnoticed the amount of work that, that that goes into it, you know, but and 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 how successful it is and how much we really appreciate it. So, yeah. so thank no, you. It's, it's, absolutely, uh, yeah, absolutely. It's, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of work that goes into it, and um, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, well, yeah, thank you very much. I mean, I I really enjoy doing it. It's it's. Uh, um, the highlight really of the of the week to 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 race to organize the team it's just a lot of fun and to hear all these stories yeah. i just i uh, just love it you know i'm sometimes up until one or two a.m in the morning looking at the results refreshing like a madman that the, it's also the yeah. heart, it's also because my heart rate won't heart be right. yeah, same thing, it is true. true you don't you, you can't, can't sleep, uh, yeah. you can't just climb off but the bike and straight no. into bed can but you it's, yeah. yeah but it's it's been um this season is true we've had um there's it's true that it's a lot of work there's a lot of changes to do but it's it's really i i enjoy it so much and um yeah let's see can we keep growing um i'm just well i think we'll keep it probably for now with the three teams just want to get more more uh, <laughs> consistency yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll see how it goes but uh it's yeah. no it's it's uh yeah i really appreciate it guys um and well appreciate you guys have been the captains of the of the teams um it might you know on paper you know it's not like you have to do admin or anything like that but i know that i've got you know on the team time trial i've got guys i can I can trust and I know for example Olivia has done as well it's, it's really between you know you and Olivia really on the, on the captaining the, the, the side yeah uh, but Olivia I think at yeah. some point yeah. I bumped into B uh, I think it was last season if I remember well uh, I'm not sure but it's yeah, um, uh, yeah you, you need that sort of because uh, I can't DS the team and race and, and all yeah, that yeah, so yeah, but yeah. Uh, no, no it's about consistency it's consistency as well showing up every night um and uh, and actually, we we started even not on the team time trial nights, but on the the scratch races, even um, keeping the keep, uh, keeping keep the, the keep score on and and doing yeah. a bit of not you know sort of joint DSing, um, just because on some you know it makes sense on some of the races where you're trying to actually work as a team to get to get certain points. So that's yeah. something I think we'll do more of. Yeah, agree. But yeah, so now the good days are the sunshine's coming back. Maybe right, right Maybe outside. Maybe right outside. Know, but we yeah. have another season before the summer. It'll yeah. be a shorter one. Um, maybe we get together again to speak about that one. Um, but yeah, with all the riders that we have in the area, it would be great yeah. to go for a bike ride. Be nice to pick up a feather on the Cold Left or Sea. On the Variette. <laughs> yeah, the Variette might have some. Yeah. <laughs> maybe exactly. the, or an yeah. anvil on the way down. Maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe not, yeah. but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, thank you. If you have made it and listened to the whole <laughs> of us talking, well done. You, de yeah. you definitely, yeah, definitely need, uh, need uh, extra points. Yeah. You're on the team. Yeah. You're on the yeah. team. Yeah. But uh, thank yeah. you guys so much. You would have listened as well to many uh, of the riders. If you do want to join uh, our teams, well, if you, you know, please, let, if you have any friends who would like to join, it's all about the community. It's for a bit of fun. So, yeah, reach out and um, ride on. Right Brilliant. on. Right on, everybody.